It is shocking and brutal. A 65-year-old Asian woman walking to church when she's attacked in broad daylight in Manhattan in New York. And no one comes to help. As the man stomped on her head, police say he made several anti-Asian comments. It's the latest in a growing series of attacks on Asian Americans. This assault considered a hate crime. It is absolutely terrifying because it makes all of the Asian American community, you know, say, you know, with resolve, we're not going to leave our homes. I mean, that's ultimately what is happening. I am, I am angry. I am, you know, all the emotions. It's never... The, you know, the, the frustration, the anger, not, none of that has subsided because the attacks haven't subsided. New York police also investigating another attack on an Asian man on a subway train in the city. The man was beaten and choked to unconsciousness. This video has now been viewed more than two million times. The rise in attacks has brought out people in support. On Monday, Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer attended a vigil in New York and at the weekend, thousands took to the streets at anti-violence rallies and peace vigils across the United States. I shouldn't have to be worried about my mother being slashed or pushed in the streets. I shouldn't have to be worried about getting stabbed, going on the train. I'm a native New Yorker, and for the first time in my life, I carry, a knife, uh, I carry around a hammer in my bag just in case I'm going to get attacked. Police in New York have issued this picture of the man they want to interview in connection with the attack on the 65-year-old woman. She remains in hospital with serious injuries. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera.